everyone. Today I'm going to be telling you a story that happened to me recently this past June. All right, so it was just a regular Wednesday night at work. So I was just busting tables and I was starting to get really tired from the fatigue of the tedious of my part-time job. So I was really looking forward to going home and binge-watching binge Netflix for Orange is the New Black, season two had just come out. When my friend and bartender, Sherwin, came up to me and said, hey, let's go grab some food after work. Like, and I was feeling kind of hungry, so I'm like, sure, okay, why not? What could happen? So, <laughs> so, we're, so because we both got out kind of late, so we both went to the Pizza Nova across the plaza from where we work, so we decided to keep the local. So around two hours later and half a pepperoni, Pizza each, uh, we decided to head home. So, on the way to the parking lot and to his car, this uh, red Honda minivan pulls up beside us, and two guys are in it. And they ask, Hey, can, I, can we borrow your phone? It's an emergency. I've got to call my boy. <laughs> my friend Sherwin, being the smart one, said, no, made up the excuse. He was like, Oh, no, sorry, my phone's dead. And me, being the naive little nice boy, <laughs> said, sure, yeah, why not, because my phone was already in my hand. So I'm like, oh, okay, what's the worst? It's ha people have asked me for my phone before, and it's always been honest, so you could already tell where I'm going with this. <laughs> so I bring my phone to the car, and meanwhile, he hasn't gotten out, so that should have been red flag number one. <laughs> it's like, oh, okay, so I'm like, all right, here you go, no problem. So like, okay, well, okay what, what kind of phone is this? So I'm like, Blackberry Q10. It's like, oh, okay, not two seconds later, after that little exchange between us, does he, like, drive off? And I'm like holding onto the window. <laughs> <laughs> and so like I'm being like dragged across the parking lot basically. Oh. And so to get me off of it, so he tried he speeds up and makes a sharp right turn, which caused me to skid across the parking oh. lot. And I was about five inches from hitting my head against the curb. To make matters worse, and for ironic or comic relief, I guess, doesn't it start to rain on me? <laughs> so uh, there I am, just lying, lying on the ground, saying, "Thank God, at least I can move." And in my head, I'm like, "Okay, it's just a phone. No big deal. Uh -huh. Thank God, I could easily just remove all my passwords." Oh, oh my God, I'm thinking like the most insane things. Like, "Oh my God, I have passwords open there. Oh my God, I have my Facebook open there, and no password to protect my phone." Smart going, Greg. Smart going. So, anyways. This couple comes up and decides to oh, hey, what's wrong? We saw what happened. And then my friend Sean comes up and we call the police and the ambulance. They get statements from all of us and we explain what happened. So we all went home. I only ended up with like a few bruises along my right side, and so I was okay. Uh, located my phone on the website and we couldn't get it back. So like, whatever, it's just a phone. Uh, so long story short, the police never found out or got the guys, even though I told them, oh yeah, the Blackboard website said my phone's at this direction, literally, like, oh, okay, okay, we'll let you know within a week. Heard that thing, so keep going. Anyways, um, long story short, I learned the very important lesson yesterday, yesterday, months ago, can't be too nice and you can't trust anyone. So, <laughs> so now every time I walk by that little plaza or when I go to work, I look at it or when I look at my bruise, I'm like, okay, lesson learned, and I feel of discomfort, which might be a little PTSD, but <laughs> <laughs> anyways, so that was my. Uh,